Hello and welcome to this short uh, walkthrough where I am going to show you exactly how you can use your new plugin Optin JIT in order to uh, insert Optin forms directly to your WordPress without having to use uh, different other types of services that you have to pay for like get response or other email marketing services. Basically this is a plugin that you install on your WordPress website. It's very simple to use. It creates uh, automatically lists for you. Uh, you can basically uh, capture your uh, your visitors' email addresses. You can export the lists uh, after after using this plugin if you want to. So now let me show you exactly how you can use it, and I'm 100% sure that you are going to love this plugin. First of all, probably you have already downloaded the zip file, the plugin on your computer. What I want you to do right now is go on your WordPress website. Log into your administrator dashboard and this is the first thing that you will see, what you are seeing right now on my screen. In the left side menu, where you have all the options for your WordPress uh, uh, administrator menu, uh, you will see that you have an option which says plugins. You go ahead and click on that option on plugins. In that category you have to be. You can see here all the plugins that you have installed at the moment. Probably you have more on your website. This is a basic website uh, for this example, for this purpose. Uh, what I want you to do is press the add new button so that we can add our new plugin. And here you will have another option, upload plugin. Click on this button, upload plugin. You will have an option here, choose file. And you will have to search for the location on your computer where you have the plugin. I know directly where I have to go. Let me just find it here. Okay, this is the one. Then you click open. So you select the plugin, you click open and then you press the install now button. And bear with me for a couple of seconds. Now it has been installed. How do you, how do you know it has been installed? This piece of text here has to appear for you. Okay. After it has been installed, press the activate plugin. And now you can see that in the plugins list, we have this plugin, okay? A WordPress opt-in JIT plugin. Now, what I want you to do, go ahead and look in the left side menu. You'll see that a new option has appeared, the WordPress opt-in JIT, okay? Click on it and you'll see here that you have more options, okay? A drop-down menu will also open for you in the left side with lists and opt-ins. Basically, in the list section, you can create lists and manage your lists. In the opt-ins, you can create opt-ins and manage them. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, first of all, create a new list. You see that if you click on the plugin itself, uh, you have more options here. You have an horizontal menu, create new list, create new opt-in, show a list, show all opt-ins. First of all, we have to create a new list. You can create as many lists as you want. Maybe you want to segment your, your subscribers. So what we have to do in order to use the plugin is create a new list first. Uh, let's give it a name, uh, list two, okay. Uh, then here in the list, you can see that we can add different fields. By default, we have the field name email, okay. And this one is required if you, un if you check this box or uncheck it. Basically, people can subscribe uh, without filling in that field or uh, they don't or they have to fill that field in in order to subscribe. OK, uh, for example, maybe I know you want to capture their names, right? Name, OK, text. And this is a text type and you can check the required or not. OK, so people, uh, if they want to give you their name, they will. And they are still able to subscribe to their list, even the, if they don't want to give you their name. If you check the required box, they will have to give you their name in order to be subscribed. OK, it's up to you. Now let's delete it. Let's create a new list. OK, our new list has been created. You can see it here, list two. OK, let's delete the first one. We don't need it. And now that we have a new list, what I want you guys to do is go ahead in the left side menu in the in your new plugin, in the option, in the opt-ins uh, category here. OK, and let us create a new opt-in. Let me just delete this one and let us create a new opt-in. You just have to click on the create new opt-in button. Test two. We select the list, list two. You can set a redirect URL. What's a redirect URL? After somebody 
uh, after somebody subscribes to your email list, it can redirect them automatically to a specific page. Maybe you give them something like a lead magnet or I don't know, something like that. Okay. Uh, well, let's just generate the opt-in. So that the, that is not required. And now you have this piece of code. What do you want to do with this piece of code? Basically, this is the form. Click on this button, copy form. It has been copied. Now, for example, you can use it on your pages, in a sidebar, if you want to, in your post, in your articles. For example, let's go to the post section. Okay. And we have social media marketing. We have this article here. I will just edit it. Okay. And here is the article itself. Maybe I want to add the, okay. I want to add the form at the end of the article. I will just go here in the text version. Okay. I just paste here that code. I will update the article. Okay. Very, very simple. We click on the preview changes to see the new article. Okay. Here's the article. If we scroll down, we can see the form. Okay. And now let's see if it works. Test at yahoo.co.uk submit. And that's it. Thank you for your submission. Okay. Back to the form. Okay. We are back to the article. Let's see if we have a new subscriber. Okay. We are in all list list two total leads one. Okay. Very, very simple. If I click on the list, I can see my lead. Okay. And what I can do is export to my list in Excel, C, uh, CCV, PDF, or I can just print it if I want. Okay. This is it. It's very, very simple guys. It's a wonderful plugin because it's so simple to use and uh, it will save you a lot of time and money because you don't have to integrate any other type of service to build your email list. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope this will be helpful for you.